Hey guys, uh, so we did take that mission, um, however, um, the recording stopped halfway through and I didn't notice it. Uh, I guess my drive was, well, I don't guess, my, my hard drive ended up getting full. I had left a whole bunch of videos on that I hadn't trashed. Normally I trash them as I record them, but I hadn't done it in quite a while and my drive got full uh, and I didn't see that it stopped recording. So we did succeed in the mission, if you notice here, if we go to the Argo again. Um, we are nine days to the end of the financial report. Um, we didn't lose any mechs. Let's go to the mech bays. However, there was a couple of instances. Um, so the Storm Chrome Prime almost lost its back to another Strix. Believe it or not, there was another <laughs> Strix in this mission. Um, there was a Shadowhawk 2C. There was a Axeman, which didn't really do much. And a special Centurion, I uh, can't even remember the name of it now, it was some special Centurion. I think we actually got a part of it, so let's go to storage real quick. Um, it punched through the back of the, uh, the CT back, but didn't quite kill us. Um, so we managed to get away okay. The uh, Mockingbird's Atticus almost had its uh, right arm taken completely off. It was down to six points internal structure. So we did get the one Shadowhawk 2C part. I think we got a couple of Strix parts, or I, I can't remember how many parts we got out of that one. Uh, I don't know if we got the Stormcrow part, but I think there was there was a specialized Centurion. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, it was a clan build. It was probably somebody's like a somebody's named mech, and I can't seem. Maybe we didn't get a. I thought we'd got a part of it though. No. Stormcrow C. Vapor Eagle, uh, Kataro. No, maybe we didn't. I thought we did. Another Vapor Eagle. At least we're getting a good chance to have a look at what we have. Vapor Eagle Rival. It was a 50. Was it this one? It says Yen Lo Wang. I thought it was that at first because we didn't actually get to see it up close until the very end of the battle. It was basically firing missiles. I thought it was firing rocket launchers. Um, but it wasn't. It was firing... It had an LRM-15 or something on it. Um, and I, I kept thinking, oh, it's just shooting one rocket launcher at a time. I don't see it here anywhere, though. Wow, okay, it's a Viper. Uh, got lots of gauntlet parts. Hunchback, Bushwhacker. No, I can't see it here anywhere. Maybe we didn't get a part of it. Hatchetman Pirate. I think that's maybe what we got a pirate. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, we got a couple of mech pieces and we picked up a bunch of other junk, but nothing really amazing. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, so to finish this episode off, since it's like the next day for me, I was actually just getting ready to cut it and and uh, get ready to, to upload. But um, yeah, I, just, <laughs> I was part way through editing and I'm like, where the hell is the rest of it? <laughs> anyway, so let's go... Uh, star map is actually looking once again really bleak wolf is doing an amazing job of like holding on to all these planets so we're going to do a couple things there's a bit of wolf control here but we're just going to take one hell's horses mission here then because we have our our, our difficulties set to two skulls we can jump over here hopefully we can pick up a three and a half skull mission over here at horde uh, and work on trying to keep get rid of uh, clan wolf from over here so let's I mean we're not going to do much but we'll, we'll try uh, people keep flipping it back and forth. They're, I mean, they're good, doing a pretty good job of holding Wolf at bay, but actually if we go back really quick, you can see the one planet that we were at right here, um, Paxton, it's 100% Wolf control now. There was Diamond Shark and Hell's Horses here, but now they're gone. So, I mean, we can only do what we can do. Um, and then I was thinking maybe after this, uh, we're going to try and get a few more sea bills, maybe get up to 5 million again, and then we're going to head over to Ironhold. Um, Let's go back to star map again. Uh, and it is set at uh, what is it, four and a half. So we could go down to, to two and a half skull missions here. So I think we'll jump, drop over there, see if we can get any uh, clan. See, it does have a Jade Falcon here, right? It must be like a Jade Falcon homeworld. So that maybe their mis missions do generate for Jade Falcon here. So I think what we'll do is we'll jump back there, see if we can actually take some Jade Falcon missions because we don't really have any... Um, uh, any clout with these guys right now when we belong to Jade Falcon. So I want to try and get over there and get some clout with Jade Falcon. We can probably jump around the planets in here attacking Wolf as best as possible, but we want to take a few missions here first. So let's do this. 
Uh, let's take take this mission here to finish this episode up, and then we'll do another episode after this one. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll just jump over to Ironhold after this mission. I don't know. But the other thing, too, as we go into the, the contracts here, the other thing I want to start doing is just dedicating myself to grabbing mech parts. I'm, I'm having a hard time assembling mechs um, in the clan, in clan space here. And I think, I think the biggest deal is it's the, um, the variants and stuff. Let's just deploy and get this done. So in my past series, the um, having eight salvage wasn't so much of a big deal because we would always have so many mech parts. Okay. All right, we know what we got to do here. We would always have so many mech parts um, that, you know, after a certain number of episodes, mechs would just start rolling in, right? But now we're in clan space. We have the inner sphere chassis. We have clan chassis. We have this is just a lots of a variety of mechs. It's becoming difficult to assemble full mechs uh, in relatively quick order. So I think I'm just going to start um, choosing mech parts to, to finish mech mechs off. Um, just so we can further the series along a bit more. And I'll probably be doing the same thing in, um, in uh, Night Witches as well. So we're generating some good evasion here. Um, Stormcrow Prime now has got uh, 7 evasion, 6 still in Mockingbird here. Luce. Um, I'm kind of liking the Ultra 10 loadout. It showed its merit in the last battle, which you guys didn't get to see. Um, but it did show its merit. It did a lot of uh, um, heavy heavy damage to a lot of mechs. Uh, and I'm going to leave it off for now and just fire the lasers. Okay, these guys are quick, so we're going to have to get on them fast. Uh, yeah, so it did a fair enough, fair bit of heavy damage. Uh, we took a bunch of damage as well. Nice. So they had uh, a vehicle with an Ultra 10. Um, Griff had taken several hits from the Ultra 10. Um, so did El Duce. Uh, thank God they were face on. The only damage we did take from behind was from the Strix when he me meleeed us from behind. He's not having a good day. That hit something good. Yep. Sure did, girl. We we can finish him up here, so let's do it. Kind of a weird positioning, but let's try and kill him. There we go. One down. Yeah, the last battle was interesting because they were the mechs that we were facing will were fully armored. It was a desert battle. They were in the lowlands, and it was the one where you, you get guys coming from the left hand side down the hill. And um, basically, they had, were hitting us with a large pulse laser, laser and an Ultra 10. And I wasn't about to move into close range with a Strix and an Axeman. So we stopped what we normally do, which is kind of going on the left hand side. And um, we headed up the, we just turned and went up the hill to the right to take out the vehicles that were maneuvering kind of half behind us. Um, let's just hammer this guy here. So we were able to get rid of them, and then we just kept fading back so we could apply damage to the Shadowhawk, which was hitting us with lasers from long range, which wasn't fun. Um, so we we uh, were hitting him, and then once the Strix got close enough, we all started shooting the Strix, but it was, uh, def you know, really well defended. Um, so we weren't able to pull it down until like two turns after it was in melee range. It took quite a while to do it. Uh, it got its back against... Um, Got its back up against the actual wall of the um, the arena area, so we couldn't get behind it. We were shooting it in the back. It, it attacked um, our storm crow from behind, um, and we were able to get behind it to shoot it. But then it just managed to move and put its back to the wall, and we weren't able to. Okay, let's get into here. We weren't able to get to its back, but we managed to take its leg off, which slowed it down, and then we were able to finish it up. Okay, firing. Okay, another 60 hit. Nice. I've been sensor locked. But that AC-10 off of the El Duce, he hammered some people with that thing. 
This is all vehicles. This sucks. I want full salvage on this, man. I don't know if they can see us sensor-wise, but whatever. Firing on this guy. Uh, I should turn the medium laser on. Doesn't matter. Oh, thought we got him. Oh, this is a lousy battle compared to the other one. It kind of sucks. It was a really good battle. I was just so bad, so uh, upset that it didn't uh, record all the way because it was um, it was um, a really really long battle, but it was also really good too. Like from maneuvering and tactics standpoint, thought it well, you know, don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but uh, toot toot. It just ended up being a very well played mission for what we had and what they had. Vehicle destroyed. Waiting for orders. The axeman went down hard. He didn't, didn't didn't get a chance to do too much, which was good. I didn't want him in melee range, but they, you know the one thing that's hurting the axeman is the speed. It's just so damn slow, right? Uh, wait a minute. Didn't we hit somebody else already? Was it the Scorpion Two C? Yeah. Um, now it's fire this guy. It's got an ERPPC. As long as you're sh sensor locking and not shooting, it's fine. So yeah, I mean, wow, these guys aren't even firing. Um, it was pretty good overall, the mission. So, ah, I just wish you guys got a chance to see it. Anyway. Yeah, when that uh, Strix attacked the uh, um, the Stormcrow for the second time from behind, I thought for sure, because it had already hit the CT back, um, and it penetrated to the to the internal structure, I thought for sure that he was going to kill it. But he got the leg, so it was <laughs> I was like, oh my god, thank you! Okay, this guy will go down. Badass. Waiting for orders. Um... Keep moving to get some evasion up. And firing. Christ, it's almost like those pulse lasers never stop firing. We can't even. Oh, we can. Ooh, hello there. We just move. We can. Copy that. See if we can finish him. Yeah, man. He didn't even shoot us. <laughs> that one's gone. It is. Mission successful. Well, that was quick. So let's take us. Let's take another mission with our secondary lance before we move out of here. All right. Contract payment increased by twenty five percent. Yep. No damage. Nova did a really good job. Blockade, man. You're gonna catch up to to Mockingbird if I don't watch out. You're gonna be just like. Surpassing her. Okay, so we take ERPPCs. There's no vehicles. Um, AP Gauss rifles are interesting. Ultra 20. That's what we took last time. That's right. One of the vehicles had an Ultra 20. We grabbed the Ultra 20, and I think we got one ton of ammo. Having flashes now. We got one ton of Ultra 20 ammo, I think. Yeah, so we got those in the draw. So, I mean, we could take just Ultra 20 ammo. Since there's really nothing here. Engine cores are really light. We've got an, we have an Ultra 20. ERPPCs. I think we've got one. we got two of them. So let's grab... It sounds so weird to just grab these, but... Then we'll have four tons, which means we'll have ten rounds of firing with the Ultra 20. So we don't have to worry about getting ammo for that anymore. Okay, two AP Gauss rifles. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for C-bills, um, these are worth a million each. So uh, if you're not using them, I know it's 7 heat or 8 damage with 50% chance to do crit. They do fire a barrage of 5 smaller projectiles, but they've only got 5 turns of firing. So, yeah. Um, these are actually you know 130,000 each, so if you're looking for C-bills and you can't find anything else, these are kind of not bad. We did get a uh, ERPPC, another... 
uh, Ultra 5, but now we got two of them. I got rid of the Inner Sphere version, so it's nice to have this one now. We do have lots of ammo for this, so we don't have to worry about it. We didn't get any more ammo down here. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, zero damage. We got another Lance coming up. Uh, I just want to see, interesting-wise, what if Wolf lost anything on this planet after that? Probably not. Oh, it's 100% health horses controlled. Since I'm the... Oh, there's somebody else here. Never mind. They could have been fighting for health horses as well. Remove Wolf. Okay. Uh, let's take one more mission. We'll call it an episode. Um, turn the tables. Health horse and com competitor. Uh, let's not go against health horse. Um, hostile wolf forces. Here we go. Defend base. I don't know if that lance is ready for that though. Man of the people. Five twenty one escort mission. A little long for this. Corporate secrets against clan wolf. Eh? Recovery. We can do this one. Let's do this one. Gets get that second lance up and running. Who knows what we'll get here? We might get uh, some competition this time. All right. So we want the grinner. We want the yeah the adder, the kit fox, and the gen two C. Um, what do we got here? Shogun, Sundance, six pack, and Hannibal the cannibal. Let's do this. All right, we've only got one place to go. And there it is. Our escape point, which we don't need to worry about. Um, Let's do this. I think I want to try something different on this map. I'm going to head up this way. Normally I go this way. We're going to head to the side here, I think. Receiving you. Got it. No shooting. Just running. Now, I've got another clan mask I want to use. I'd love to put it in this Jenner. Doesn't weigh anything, but it adds 30% to heat, so it's really not an option. Uh, I'm going to reserve. Going to see what they do. If they do anything at all. If there is anybody at all. Guess not, eh? Um. Sure. I don't think we got anything up here. Oh, we do. Ah, uh, really? All right, so let's switch our ammo up so we don't forget. Let's lob some rounds on this guy. Here we go. Okay, we got one narc on him. Yes, commander. Copy that, commander. Well, we're in a good sprint in position. Oh man, I don't like this. Time to earn our pay. Toady. Another shot. Really? Let's finish this guy up. Target locked. One more for the rubbish bin. Ready for orders. Ooh, we can't even get on that guy. Let's move him in. On it. Standing by. Can now though. Copy Let's get that. on this toady. And yeah, fire everything. That hit. 
hit something good. Man, Hannibal goes so far behind everybody else. Well, at least this guy's significantly damaged, so if the Hannibal does hit, it's going to do some good damage on him. Okay, the Reese is moving in. Wow. Laser light show! I was hoping for a little more than this, if friggin... The skulls that we're playing at. Um, you I don't think getting any closer is going to help that much. Let's fire this. Commander? Wow, you... Don't even get to move. Sucks to be you, dude. Bye. Target down. Standing by. On my way. Roger that. Oh. Boarding. Enemy field orders. This is supposed to be one and a half skulls. How is this even possible? There better be reinforcements. Good to go. Move your ass up here. There's probably somebody left over here. Maybe. We have the asset wow, that's it? An elemental and two vehicles? Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. How many of these things do we have? Thirteen. These are worth how much? Four hundred thousand. Let's grab a toady piece, because why not? Oh, we're running low on ER medium, so let's take that. Alright. Four ER smalls, laser cutter, bunch of heat sinks. Oh, we got double heat sinks too. Okay. Well, it could have been a lot worse. I guess for the amount of time we spent, it uh, we didn't even get hit. <laughs> it's two missions where we didn't get hit. Wow, that was awful. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make this a B episode. I'm gonna just I'm not gonna put these two two missions in with the main episode. We're gonna shift planets, and I'll do that. Uh, finish it up with a better mission than that because that was really really bad um it's just that's like like two milk runs and it's just terrible they're not even milk runs we didn't really make anything off it except for the ultra 20 ammo that's about the best thing we got out of it and patchwork materials <sighs> okay so we're gonna jump planets and then i'll finish up this episode so anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed <laughs> i think this is uh what 31 now episode 31 B 32 B one of these two anyway it'll be a I'm gonna I'll post it but it'll just be crap anyway <laughs> if you liked it drop a like uh, and if not whoever that person is that's disliking the videos put a thumbs down on this one if you don't like it too I don't know why you're doing it but whatever all right uh, so I end the episode here I'll see you next time.